Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am back today with some more viral, brilliant cleaning hacks that actually work that are gonna make your life a heck of a lot easier. And make sure you watch to the end because my favorite hack out of all of these is the very last one. Starting with what you saw in the thumbnail, which I know may look crazy. You have to stay with me here. And that is putting Vaseline petroleum jelly on your stovetop. And here's what you do and here's why. So first you want to start by cleaning your stovetop, get any caked on food, debris, dirt off of the stovetop. So you are starting with a clean surface, then get a little bit of Vaseline on the corner of a cloth and buff that in to your stovetop. If it is stainless steel, you wanna go in the direction of the grain. So not only is this going to polish and shine your stovetop, but it provides the added benefit of a very thin layer of protection that serves as a barrier and helps protect your stovetop. So then the next time you go to clean your stovetop, everything's gonna come off a lot easier. And also you can apply the same hack to polishing and cleaning any stainless steel in your house. So your refrigerator, your dishwasher, anything you have, you just want to first clean it, second, buff in a little bit of that Vaseline, and then take a dry cloth to polish. Now let's talk scrub daddy hacks. You've probably seen, heard of the scrub daddy. You might even have one at home. So the two key things about the scrub daddy that makes it unique is that it will scrub, but not scratch any surface, including glass. And then second, it will change texture depending on the water temperature. My favorite way to use the scrub daddy in my house, if you have not tried this, this is the best, easiest way to remove hard water stains. So on those hard water stains, you can just use it dry and buff those right off, or you can use it slightly damp. And that's what I do on my kitchen and bathroom faucets and fixtures. It will get it right off. You don't even need to use any cleaning product. It will do it with water and it's easy and effortless. The next little hack you can see I have here, it is an attachment tool. It's this little soap dispenser attachment. You just load it up with your dish soap, press the button and the soap comes right out of its little smiley mouth. Just makes the process that much easier. Nice thing I like to do with my scrub daddy is put it in the little drain disposal right there on top. So as you are peeling vegetables, fruits, whatever it is, you put it right there and it helps prevent any food from going down into the disposal and possibly clogging it. And we lost our stopper for our sink. So I use the scrub daddy instead and it allows the water to drain through, but not the food. If you have any coffee mugs that maybe you didn't clean quick enough and it has that caked on coffee or tea stains on there, use your scrub daddy for that and it will get it off, scrub it off without damaging or scratching your mugs. It is the best, easiest way that I've found to remove those stubborn stains. Also, I greatly prefer the scrub daddy to stainless steel, like steel wool, because that can scratch and damage, especially your pots and pans. So if you have any food or something caked on to the bottom of your pots and pans, use the scrub daddy. And then for actually scrubbing and cleaning my fruits and vegetables, because the texture of this is really great at removing like waxy buildup on apple and like all the dirt off of potatoes that can be really difficult to remove. Use your scrub daddy. I just like to have a dedicated one that I use for cleaning off food that I'm going to eat. You can use your scrub daddy to clean your outdoor furniture. And it is a favorite method that I found because it is so nice and abrasive, but doesn't scratch anything. Outdoor furniture can really get that caked on thick layer of dirt after you've had like a rainstorm or weather or it's been sitting out for a long time. This will get it all off. So we're going to move on to some Swedish dishcloth hacks. If you've never heard of these, they're like a paper towel replacement, reusable paper towel with the spongy texture to it. They are so cool. And this is what I use and I recommend using to clean all of your surfaces around your house, your countertops, your mirrors, windows, do your dusting with a damp cloth. It's more efficient than using a duster. But my little hack here that I like to do is I will leave one corner of the Swedish dishcloth dry. And that becomes my little abrasive scraper that doesn't scratch. So when you're cleaning your countertop and maybe there's a little caked on food or smoothie or something, you can use that little corner to gently buff it off and then use the rest of the damp cloth to wipe it 
down. These last and are reusable for six to nine months. And my favorite trick for bringing them back to life, making them like new again, is you wanna take them, throw them in your regular washing machine on a speed cycle with a little bit of detergent. You don't need to dry them. They will fluff up, puff up, be nice and clean and like new again. So I do that every one to two weeks just to really freshen them up. Otherwise, you can just put them in the top wrap of your dishwasher to clean them in between uses. This was a little hack that was sent in to me by a janitor that I don't know why I had never thought to do. And that is put multiple garbage bags in your trash can at once. So you're going to put their garbage bag on there anyway. Just take an extra 30 seconds and put five garbage bags all in there on top of each other. So then when you go to take out the trash, it's already in the trash can ready to go. And it serves an additional purpose of if there is any leaks or spills, there's another bag underneath it to collect that. But before doing that, ladies, I want you to whip out a panty liner. We're gonna take our panty liner and put it in the bottom of our trash can and you can put essential oils on the panty liner or some people like to do this with pine sol. Stick it to the bottom of your trash can and it's a nice little deodorizer and because it's on a panty liner it will stick nicely to the bottom. This is a new screen cleaner tool that I saw on my TikTok feed and I was like wait a second that actually looks insanely useful because it's small and portable and it has the cleaning product built in so you just spray and wipe away because we need to be all cleaning the surface of your phone way more than most of us do. Like this thing is a breeding ground for bacteria. We are touching it all day long. We touch it to our face. You wanna be cleaning it. So I like this little easy gadget for cleaning it fast. And last little cleaning hack, if you have any stubborn mold and mildew in the cracks of your bathroom, your tiles, your kitchen, anywhere in your house, there is a product I found and it actually works so well. You just pipe it, right on there in the grout lines or wherever the mildew is, let it sit overnight, wipe it off. If you watched all the way to this point in the video, make sure you are subscribed to my channel to see more videos like this in the future. And also leave me this emoji so I know you watched all the way to the end. That really helps out my channel more than you even know. And if you wanna watch more of my videos, I will have the last video I posted right here and another video for you here. So keep on watching. And with all that said, thank you for watching this video and I will see you soon with a new one. Bye.